the, the son escapes from the clutches of uh, human life by um, defense mechanisms pre-programmed into it. It's, uh, it's very hot, for example, um, that stops people from inhabiting it. There's lots of, uh, there's a big lack of natural resources. There's, um, no water to speak of, nor any oil. Um, judging by the fact that, um, there's no trees to cut down. There are, uh, I, I think all in all, to unskilled it's a people in the pretty world smart planet. That, um, that, uh, have no sort of trait, um, a trait of their face that are, that are completely blank, that, um, have no facial features to speak of. There are a considerable amount of jobs for these people who who have no recognizable facial features, who have who have no nose or any eyes or or any lips, a mouth, a chin, an ear. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. But there's Hello? something to be said for uh, um, the no, existence hold on. of um, nukes. Okay. They um, the, the rate they they evolve at is uh, pretty astounding. Their um, genetic makeup is. Um, made up of mostly uh, protein and um, bone matter. There's lots of, uh, there's lots of atoms to them. They, uh, they're very slithery. They can get in under most rocks uh, with the greatest of ease. They, um, they live close to water in moist places because if they were out in the desert, their skin would dry up and they would die. Their, uh, their skin's always very moist, very moist. It's, um, it's usually bright colored. It's it's one of their defense mechanisms. They um uh, most most predators of the uh, of the newt are um are actually scared off by its bright colors and how uh, abnormal it looks in its in its habitat. It's like you you'd imagine that they'd be very dark and like if they were hiding under rocks or in stream beds, but they uh, they're usually very bright colored and when Say uh, a wolf comes up to drink out of the out of the stream that they live in. They they will see this, this strange creature. That's, that's, wolves are colorblind, obviously, but they will notice that it's very very much lighter than most of the creature that comes in contact with every day. And um, the, even though it's smaller, it will be very afraid of, of the brightness of this of this strange this, this strange creature that it, that's right next to its face as it's drinking it's, it's drinking just a little a little bit of water because it's it's been running all morning and um just a little bit of water and it looks down past its nose and it sees it sees this white white gray really bright creature moving towards it and, and what, what would you do you you would obviously run you would run there's uh it's a definite it's feeling very small it's very small odd my strange creature you would run chest right now um and I would like, actually like to lift it, and actually just physically lift it off my chest, but it's, it's more metaphysical, um, angst, I suppose you would call it, as, as I just did. And, um, it's so deep-rooted that, um, I can't do it alone. I just can't, uh, call myself to destroy this evil. It's, it's, people who follow him. He's the core. He is the the sediment. He's um he he um he's swift to judge. He's um the leader. He leads us. He's our leader. He um he um takes many forms, uh that of rocks, 
of um, basic um, vermin life. The squirrel family. He's um, very heavy in the squirrel and, and chipmunk genus. He's um, heavily populated in most north, northwestern uh, regions. Um, Seattle, Washington is, is a very large um, gathering of, of him. There's, there's, there's a lot of him in We must address back into uh, our uh, former selves. We as, um, have to Nebraska, rediscover what it means some uh, so much Northern California, most right. definitely, there's, and there's plenty there. there. All to there's um, he's, he's heavily born. populated over the earth, and, and um, um, it's not his stand task feeling to take on to that, actually stop him, that um, destroy him. Before the angels do really too, um, entirely too powerful. We need to for understand him. that that our lives are, are holy and 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 sacred. And only, only the, 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 the final days of, of our lives will be accredited for anything. And when we are on our deathbeds, it, it, all hell will break loose, so to speak. It will, we will see visions, we will be visited by these, these, um, flying, um, better term demons we will be we'll be visited by them and we will see them all around us and we will see the battle we will physically see the battle unfolding the us of the battle between the angels and the devils between good and evil and ultimately between God and Satan and as we will know Satan aspired to destroy God he wanted, he wanted to love for himself he wanted to kill God but God, God put him down and he brought him to the pit and he threw, he threw him in. But, but the devil still roams the earth. The pit was the earth. The devil roams the earth, this pit, and feeds upon all the, all the people in the planet, the pit, this, this pit that we live in. He feeds on us until the final judgment day when he will be destroyed. He will be put down for good. He will be put, he will be put in, into, into hell. Unfortunately, there into, is a problem in this country. And um, most of the people he was rejoicing in foliage, freed from bondage. Uh, and and uh, all the green people, Satan, all of us, all the greenies will be put away forever. And we will never need I, to I, on the other hand, I love the yeah. people I take I them in my house. Or and then I and then I plant them in my backyard and watch them grow from tiny little saplings and these full strong creatures of habitat. They are um, they hold things dear to them. They hold they hold the whole family of creatures and insects and um, birds. There's, there's such a such a deep deep feeling in these people who, who are people with, with arms and legs who take root in the, in the Mother Earth and they, and they grow straight, so straight and tall and I get so emotional when I speak of them. They, these people are the most understanding, committed people I've ever met and they're, they're persecuted so and I, I believe it's wrong to persecute these people. They're, they're smart and funny and they they make the best friends they they're always there for you they they change color and they amuse they amuse us they they amuse us greatly they they blow in the breeze we can watch them dance with each other they're they're always hurt in, in, in storms and they always they always they always get hit by by bolts of energy from the sky, lightning bolts. They um, they always break in half. They are always persecuted by these people in the sky and by us. We we hurt them. We chop them down. But but the sky is the main problem. It hates it hates them dearly. It, the sky people they are they are evil. And personally, I hate 
I hate the sky people. I hate them. They are, they are horrible, horrible, dirty people. And I believe that that our leader, our leader should should wipe them out. He should destroy them. They they should they ought to be destroyed. They destroy this. They they are the they are the solvent for the glue that holds our our great country together. The sky people are are taking us apart one by one. They're they're taking our foliage. They're destroying it, and 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 they're not destroying it at such a rate that they can that that it can refertilize our land and grow back. It's just it's just destruction. It 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 doesn't help us in the least. It's 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 bad destruction. It's 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 counterproductive, really. Really.